warming it up really does make all the difference with this on my complexion and it just melts into the skin and looks so natural. <laughs> Hi you guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we're talking favorites. We're talking beauty favorites from the month of July and I have some good stuff. I know the one thing I wasn't loving in July was the humidity. I swear the last two years, humidity has been absolutely out of hand. Let me know down below if you agree. I know that it's been so hot everywhere, especially this year, it's been so hot and but I don't know what, I don't know why I said, and I don't know what is going on with humidity, but she needs to calm down because I'm dying here. Anyways, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. I would love to know down below, what were you loving in the month of July? Whether it's beauty favorites, whether it's food, stuff like that, let me know down below. And yeah, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into my July beauty favorites. Clean beauty favorites, let's jump right in. I'm excited. So first things first, we're talking nails. Now, weirdly this month, I actually really wasn't doing my nails a lot. I was kind of letting them breathe. I don't know why, it just felt like the right thing to do. But So I didn't really paint my nails that much, but when I did, I was using Manicurist and this shade specifically, the shade Candy is so stunning. I'm actually gonna paint my nails tonight. Look how beautiful that shade is. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. I might do this or I might do Lilas. I'm gonna ask my sister which one she votes for. I feel like she's gonna vote for Lilas cause that's her vibe in, in a shade for nail polish. But I really, really like this shade. It's just so beautiful. It just is. So then for brows, I was using this brow soap a ton. This is the Tude brow soap. I love this. And what I do is I just wet a spoolie. Like I, you can just dip it in the sink if you want. You just spray it with a little bit of water, whatever you want. And then I just rub the spoolie over this and my brows do not move. This is so good. This is, I'm going on vacation. Um, in a few days and I'm packing this because this literally does not budge and it gives my brows a really, really natural finish, which I like and the hold is great. I'm a really big fan of this. And then to fill in my eyebrows this month, I actually, I was still grabbing my Westman Atelier cause that's the love of my life, but I was grabbing the Victoria Beckham Beauty a ton this month. I was grabbing this one more than the Westman Atelier. It's so good. I have the shade dark brown and it has kind of a, it's not super, super pinpointed, but it is pinpointy and it is really, really good at filling in brows. It, the longevity is there. Oh, wrong, wrong side. The longevity is there. It wears beautifully throughout the day and it also has a spoolie on the end, which I love. I think anytime, I know that now all, or if not all, or most brow pencils come with a spoolie, but when they used to not, which it, that was a thing, it was bananas. Cause uh, hello, I need the spoolie to like brush out the ends once I fill them in. Now for complexion, I was grabbing really just two products this month and it was this, I'm obsessed with this product. This is from the, brand Naked Sundays, and this is their Cabana Glow, and this is the bronzed shade. It's an SPF of 50, mineral sunscreen, broad spectrum, all the good things. And this has just been what I've been slapping on my face every single day, and I've been so obsessed with it. And this is coming with me on vacation. It is one of the best tinted sunscreens I've ever used. Um, they also have, they actually came out with, or are coming out with, I saw a, another kind of peptide-y, foundation-y product that I believe is also an SPF. And I'm gonna grab that and try that one out. I don't believe it has kind of the glow that this one has. I do hope they come out with more shades in the glow, but I'm happy to see they have pretty and a pretty extensive range of shades for the new one, at least from what I've seen. So I'm definitely gonna grab that, but this is beautiful. I don't have any issues with pilling with this. It looks beautiful. I love the shade. I love when I can drag it down on my chest and it gives me like a nice sheen. I don't know, I'm such a big fan. I've tried this on in a few videos now and 
this is currently the love of my life. And then just kind of for pinpointing around the face, because I have had a few, uh, is it on, yeah, you can see, nope, wrong side. <laughs> You can see right here that I have a little bit of a breakout um, and this has been great. This is the Merit Beauty Foundation Concealer Stick. I love this for pinpointing around the face, covering hyperpigmentation if I have it, or just kind of a little mark where I don't want like too much concealer. I just take a little bit, rub my finger and like dab on and it covers it and it's a really nice natural finish. So it just, I mean, I've talked about it a ton, but I'm a really big fan of that. Then for when I want a little bit more highlightiness, a little bit more of a sheen to my complexion, I have been grabbing these a ton. So these are the Westman Atelier. They're um, illuminating drops and I have two shades, Pot de Pêche and Pot de Soleil. Oh, wrong way. Pot de Pêche and Pot de Soleil. And these are just, of all my kind of products like this, that are kind of a sheen product that give you a healthy complexion, what, even if it's just like a more bronzy version of these, um, even though the Pot de Soleil is more of a bronze. But all of the products that I've tried, this one by far just for me is my favorite. I also really like the, um, first aid beauty one that they have that one's stunning i know that cl just came out with kind of their own version so i do want to try that but products like this just are elite especially when you want a little bit of something but you don't want to do a full face of makeup products like this are just life-changing and then for highlighter i've been grabbing this a ton right now like this it's just so good so this is from rowan beauty and this is their kind of glow stick what's the full name actually rowan row glow skin stick but it's like a sheeny product and what i like to do with this this is the shade glazed and what i like to do with this is kind of warm it up because you can kind of see how it kind of disappears and then let's apply some actually because i don't have highlighter on today and that feels like a mistake. Take that and then just apply it to the high points of my cheeks. Oh my gosh, the glow is just, it's just so good. I am such a big fan of this product and warming it up, especially this shade because it is very, very, like not white, but it does have more of a, a kind of white shade to it. Um, it. Warming it up really does make all the difference with this on my complexion and it just melts into the skin and looks so natural, which is all just, I didn't think, because when I got the shade glazed, there, there's two shades, there's glazed and it, maybe it's bronzed. It's more of a bronze shade and more a little, if you have a darker complexion than me, then that one might be better. But however, I do think this shade, if once you like warm it up, I think it'll work on most complexions, but, I was unsure because it's so light in tone, but then when I actually applied it and wore it, I was really happy I went with the shade. And this is the type of like frosty shade that for me in fall, winter, it's gonna be it. So now we're gonna move on to blush. And I've shockingly not been grabbing that many blushes this month, but when I have been, I've been grabbing these. So the first ones are cream. And they are the Victoria Beckham Beauty blushes. I just, I cannot go wrong with the, like this formula, you can't go wrong with it. So I have two shades. I have the shade. This one is mini skirt, which is stunning. This one in falls, I'm gonna be wearing this so much. It's, it's an absolutely stunning shade. And then my most used shade, and the one I've had the longest, Playground, absolutely stunning. I just have been loving these and the dry down or like the kind of finish is more of a natural finish, which I love. And it blends out, the, this formula blends out so seamlessly and so easily, but is it, I don't know how to explain it. It blends out really easily, but it doesn't disappear. You know how sometimes when you blend stuff out, the product can kind of disappear at times. These don't. I'm a really, really big fan of these. And then for my powder blush, it's the same. I just, nothing ever changes, I swear. The um, Gen Nude blushes from um, Bare Minerals, these are their like blush bronzer kind of product. It's This one is the shade Kiss of Pink, and I've also been grabbing Kiss of Rose a ton. Just stunning, has a nice glow to it, even though I did just review 
either before this video or after the um, RMS product that also kind of, their powder blush that kind of has a sheen, that one is a beautiful um, formula too. But I was grabbing this one the most this month just because of the, the shades of blushes that I've been going with, but I'm such a big fan of this formula. And the RMS one is also beautiful. Um, that review is probably gonna go up before this, but a really big fan. So then next for the eyes. For eyes, for eyeliner, I've been grabbing these three eyeliners a ton. This one is the Rowan Beauty um, eyeliner and this is in the shade Shimmering Brown. It's absolutely stunning. I love this. Just look how beautiful that is. It's so, so pretty. And then um, this one is the shade Cinnamon from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I need to sharpen this, am I kidding? And they're very similar shades. Slightly different, but they are similar and I just, love this type of shade for my eyes right now. And then also I've been grabbing this shade a ton, the shade black and also the shade brown actually from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I don't know where the shade brown went though. Oh, I think I might've packed it, but I've been grabbing them nonstop. I really, really like the Victoria Beckham eyeliners, especially for tight lining, but also just they smudge so beautifully. And when they like dry down, they really, they like hold on and don't really move, which is amazing. Then for kind of creating more of a smoky look, I've been grabbing the um, About Face Smoke Stick in the shade Close But No Cigar. This shade, let's put a little bit under our eye. It is just stunning. It wears super, super long. I love the powder side. The pencil side, crayon side, whatever you want to call it, does not move. This is the most, it is so long wear, but super creamy. I was actually really surprised with it. So this is that shade and the eyeshadow is great. Oh my gosh, it just started downpouring again. Ugh, I hope that it doesn't pick up on camera. If it does, I apologize. So I've been loving those products for my eyes. And then for mascara, I've been grabbing my trusty dusty, the Jones Road Beauty Mascara. This is just a tried and true, always looks good on me mascara. I don't have to worry about running and flaking or anything like that. It gives me nice volume, but if I want something a little less like volumized, I just do one coat and I won't necessarily curl my lashes. I don't need to curl my lashes with this mascara, but when I, if I want it to be a little bit more subtle, I don't curl my lashes um, and use this and I'm always really happy with the final result. This is a great mascara. Then for lips, I am testing a good amount of lip products. So there's nothing that was kind of tried and true for me this month. However, for lip liners, it's the same old faves. So I have two Jones Road Beauty lip liners. This one is the shade Rosewood. This one is the shade Cognac. They're both stunning. The formula of these is just unmatched. And then also been grabbing my Victoria Beckham Beauty 04 a ton. It just, those lip liners never do me wrong. I wanna move on to tools that I've been loving. One is the Makeup Forever brush. And this is the Makeup Forever brush. This is, <laughs> a Makeup Forever brush, and this is the number 144, and I love this for concealer. I originally bought it for highlighter, but as a concealer brush, this is shockingly good. Then I've also been back on my BK Beauty, what is this, 112, 112 brush, and this for cream blush has just been everything. I'm back on it. I went off it for a little bit, trying other things, and I'm back on it. And then for when I want just a powder blush on top of a cream. I've been grabbing this one a ton. This is from the um, Makeup by Ariel X Morphe collection. And this is great. This is, this is, this is their A22. And this just puts product on beautifully, but it isn't too intense. It has this nice fluffiness to it. This is good. And if you don't want to buy this brush because I believe it's only available in the set, or at least it was, it maybe it's not now. Then the there's a Flower Beauty brush. I'll link it down below that also kind of gives you that niceness. I move on to skincare and hair. We're gonna start with hair first today. And I have been loving the Amika um, Dream Routine. This is an overnight cream that you put in your hair. My hair loves this. This is one that I am very surprised with how much I like it. I have, this is the one that I've been grabbing the most of all my overnight products right now. This is just 
it, it can't be beat right now. It's so good. And the scent is really beautiful. Okay, I can barely smell it through this. The scent is really beautiful. It smells like Amica products. I don't know, I'm a really big fan. And then another kind of cream product that my hair just loves is the Crown Affair, their leave-in conditioner. This is amazing. I also have minis of it so that when I go on trips and stuff, I don't have to bring this because this is glass and heavy, but this is amazing. My hair loves this. I usually, right now my hair's in a pretty good spot. So I do about one pump per side. I split my hair in half and do one pump per side and my hair drinks this up and is so happy. It doesn't make my hair greasy. I'm a really, really big fan. On to skincare. We have this, the Kosas deodorant there, um, sport deodorant in the green. I've tried their blue one and their one with no scent. I, They're both great, but this one to me just is elite. I do not smell now. I've said this a thousand times. I'm a really, really, really smelly sweater. And this, I don't smell when I wear this. I put this on at night because I sweat at night. And then I also put it on in the morning and I don't have to worry about smelling. Actually, the way I like to apply this is, and I'm only saying this because I've actually gotten a question from um, friends before how I like to apply it. So this is kind of... <laughs> This is kind of how I would like to apply it. I just kind of saturate my underarms and it, it is, I never smell again. And I am, again, just a smelly sweater. My sweat is smelly. And this one really is one of the only deodorants I've found um, that really controls everything. Next we have lip products. One, we have two here. One is from Typology, and this is their kind of enzyme lip exfoliator. And this is great. I just apply it, let it soak in, and then go on with the rest of my lip products. And this is a great lip exfoliator. And then the Fresh Sugar Lip Primer. Is it called Lip Primer? So, smoothing Lip Primer. I love this. It smooths out my lips. I will say, out of these two, this one takes a little bit longer to smooth out my lips, where this one is pretty immediate, but this one is always sold out. Um, but this is great. I love this. And both of these exfoliate my lips really, really well. And you just can't go wrong. I feel like lip exfoliators are such a good must-have, but it's really hard to find a, a good one that works for you. These two work really well for me and I have really, really dry lips. Then for my under eyes, I've been, I've had this for years now. My sister got this for me one year for Christmas. The um, do just their silicone eye masks that you can reuse. I love these, I use them all the time. And right now I'm really focusing on my under eyes because I just feel like my under eyes have been crying, streaming and throwing up. And this is great. So I will put my eye cream on and let these sit for a while. And I just feel like my eye cream and everything absorbs better when I do use these and it's great. I mean, these are great and I don't know, I'm such a big fan. Have you guys used these? I know there's a ton of brands that have silicone eye patches. If you have other ones I should try, let me know down below, but I'm a really big fan of these. And then lastly, we have this. This is from First Aid Beauty, and this is their kind of exfoliating radiance pads. And these are great. I have backups of this because I use this all the time. I have another container under my sink because I also let my husband use these. And I feel like when two people are using products, you get through them like so, so fast, but these are are really great. My skin loves them. And I feel like it clears up my hyperpigmentation. It helps with clogged pores, but it's not very intense. So I can use it every day. And I don't, oh, I'm just such a big fan of these. Do you guys use these? Let me know down below. I am a really big fan of them. They just, they give me what I want for an exfoliating product and a glow, like a product that kind of gives me glow, but it doesn't it's not so intense where I'm questioning why I'm wearing it every day, if that makes sense. I'm a really big fan of these. My skin is smoother and brighter, which I mean, I, that's basically what this is doing. And it helps with my um, blackheads and all of that and like clogged pores that I get sometimes around my chin, especially during the hormonal times, types of the types of the month times of the month. And yeah, I'm a really big fan of those. And I actually do know that a bunch of you do enjoy this as well, but I would love to know how many of you use these or products like this? Let me know down below. And yeah, that's it. That's it for my July clean beauty favorites. I would love to know down below what products you've been loving, what shows you've been loving, movies, food. Let me know. I love to hear from you guys. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.